years, road safety has been a major concern not only in India but for the entire world. Accidents on road not only cause irreparable damage to the families but also result in economic loss. As India is a fast-evolving country, major urbanization has been experienced in the last 50 years. With urbanization, roads are being connected to every corner of the country. This has led to a profound increase in the number of vehicles on roads. Since the year 2000, the number of registered vehicles has grown by about 160%. This has resulted in an increased number of vehicles on the roads and hence increased the number of accidents also. According to the latest data released by the Ministry of Road Transport and Highways, 11% of the global fatalities in the world are reported from India. According to this data, the number of deaths due to road accidents in India in the year 2018 were around 1.51 lakhs. The number of people seriously injured were nearly 4.7 lakhs and the economic loss to the nation was approximately 1 lakh crores. As per these records, every day 1,280 accidents take place and 415 people are killed, which means that every hour 54 accidents take place and 17 people are killed in India due to road accidents. With such statistics, India has identified the issue of road safety as of utmost importance and has started to take up suitable measures and developed policies to reduce the accident curve. The causes of accidents could be various, but data shows that 80% of accidents are due to the driver's fault, which means poor driving skills. Therefore, ensuring good driving skill is a critical area to improve the safety on our roads. When we examine the entire process, we find that issuing a driving license is an important checkpoint to bar unskilled persons from driving vehicles on roads and can bring down the number of road accidents. As per the existing norms, the applicants of driving license were tested manually by the concerned authorized official from the transport department in Uttarakhand. There are various parameters which are defined in CMVR 1989 which need to be checked before issuing a driver license but due to constraint of space and manpower it is very difficult to check all the parameters of the applicants manually in a given time frame this results in a compromise in quality of tests to overcome all these problems the transport department government of Uttarakhand in association with Maruti Suzuki India Limited has taken an initiative to automate the driving tests at IDTR Dehradun. IDTR Dehradun is a not-for-profit society formed jointly by the Transport Department, Government of Uttarakhand and the largest car manufacturer of India, Maruti Suzuki India Limited. The objective of IDTR is to inculcate sound driving practices and traffic knowledge within the drivers through driver education it also assists, supports and advises the state government in activities contributing to safety on roads and to improve effectiveness of an overall transport system in Uttarakhand. The Transport Department of the Uttarakhand had given responsibility to IDTR Dehradun to design the driving test. The purpose was to make the test that is very stringent, comprehensive and practical to check the driving skills of the applicants of driving license and, at the same time, it must be transparent in its approach. IDTR Dehradun, in association with Microsoft Research, took an initiative to evaluate applicants through artificial intelligence-based automated driving test technology called HAMS, which means Harnessing Automobiles for Safety. This has been developed by Microsoft Research India. It is a smartphone-based technology to check the driving skills of an applicant. IDTR Dehradun is the first center in the world to use this technology for driver testing. The ADT or the automated driving test is quite comprehensive. The process involves the following steps. At first, the applicant books his or her slot online on the portal of the transport department called Sarthi. After reaching IDTR, the documents are verified by the RTO officials then the candidates go to the registration room for registration. Here the candidate's face is captured and added to the system. A token number is assigned to the candidate for the practical test. 
The test process is explained to the applicant either physically or through the virtual tour of the entire testing track. The applicants are briefed about the testing parameters and explained what they are supposed to do. All the queries of applicants are addressed by the instructors before the final test during the briefing session. After the briefing, the automated test begins. The entire track is divided into two zones in such a way that any point of time only one vehicle is there in a given zone to avoid any conflict between the vehicles. Zone 1 contains following parameters, red line junction, forward maneuvering, maneuvering in roundabouts, driving as per allotted time. Zone 2 contains following parameters, parallel parking, reverse parking, lane changing skills. Two additional parameters such as face verification and seat belt detection is being monitored throughout the test. For this automated test at the IDTR, the candidates have an option to use their own vehicle or else IDTR can provide them with a vehicle. At the start of the test, a smartphone with the HAMS application is mounted on the windshield of the testing vehicle. A token number is then entered into the device which was allotted to the candidate at the time of the registration. All the details of the candidates including photograph are displayed in the screen. Once the candidate confirms his or her details, the tests start without any instructor inside the testing vehicle. Only the candidate is allowed inside the car during the test. As the test starts, the inside and outside recordings of the car are being captured by the smartphone. The inside recording is to monitor the driver's behavior inside the car and at the same time outside recording is to evaluate his or her driving skills on the given track. As the test proceeds, the smartphone imagery along with inputs received from other sensors are used to evaluate various test parameters automatically which includes mandatory and non-mandatory parameters defined by the RTO office. The results of mandatory parameters are given only in pass or fail while the non-mandatory parameters carries 10 marks each. In Zone 1, first of all candidates approach to traffic light junction where HAMS evaluates the candidate based on his response to a traffic signal. Full marks are awarded if the candidate stops his or her vehicle at the right position before the stop line but the candidate is declared fail if the candidate jumps the traffic light because a red light jump is a serious fault and comes under mandatory test parameters. Apart from the smartphone imagery, the track is covered with high-resolution overhead cameras. During the test, vehicle trajectory is also generated and recorded. In the vehicle trajectory, movement of vehicle in different directions is represented by different colors like the forward movement is depicted in blue color, while the backward movement is shown with red color. These recordings from the overhead cameras and trajectory of the vehicle are for evidence purpose only. When we come to the end of Zone 1, it is marked with a sensor-based barrier. The barrier will open and the candidate is allowed to enter in Zone 2 only if there is no other vehicle in Zone 2. Now the candidate enters in Zone 2 and the candidate has to perform parallel parking where HAMS precisely evaluates various parameters such as parking the vehicle clearly inside the marked box and the time taken to perform this task while obeying the right way of doing the parking. The number of attempts taken are also defined in the parameters by the RTO office. Now the candidate enters the next parameter where his reverse parking skills are evaluated. Here, trajectory is generated for the reverse parking manure where the different parameters of reverse parking are evaluated. Now the candidate enters into last manure which is diversion zone where HAMS evaluates whether the driver switches the lane smoothly and also scans the mirrors of the vehicle accordingly during changing the lane. With this, the test ends. At the end of the track, there is an instructor who stops the test in the device and the data is uploaded in the local server and shared with control room through the Wi-Fi. In the control room, HAMS evaluates all the data and generates the automated results without any human intervention. 
The result sheet is generated with all the relevant details, such as marks of the candidates in each parameter, date and time of the test, photograph of the candidate, and the details of the vehicle used for the test. Result is generated within 10 to 15 minutes after completion of the test. The candidate submits the result to the RTO officials. Driving license of the successful candidates is sent by post to the candidate's residential address by the transport department. The IDTR Dehradun driver license test model has been widely acknowledged as a world-class example of technology and innovation by many reputed publications both in India and across the world. ADT at IDTR Dehradun has been shortlisted among the top 12 projects in India for the prestigious Prime Minister's Award for Excellence and is also going to be featured in a book being published on selected projects of India by the Indian government. Recently, IDTR has also been selected as the best initiative by the state government of Uttarakhand and awarded by prestigious Chief Minister's Award for Excellence and Good Governance. With all these promises, IDTR is an organization which is constantly working towards providing the right kind of education in road safety and is already becoming a benchmark in quality education on road safety.